Right then guys, continuing on with the Terminator lore, today I will be discussing the much kind of hated, kind of loved split fans down the middle, the T-3000. This is the John Connor transformed Terminator, the tiny, almost nanobot version of a Terminator. So what is this? What is this particular model? Well, the T-3000 was said to be an extremely advanced model of the Terminator series. It was produced by Skynet in roughly 2029, of course, during the events of Terminator Genesis. Now, with respect to this particular version of the Infiltrator, Skynet did not create it from scratch. However, it was humans that had been basically transformed through an exposure to a type of machine phase matter. The supposed phase matter would completely rewrite the test subject's genetic coding, which would then force their body to be transformed into a resin-type substance on a cellular level. All of the humans who were previously exposed to the phase matter were driven insane during the experimental stage and of course died, which would make John Connor the only known successful example, and due to the series not continuing, is likely the only example we will ever see. And I say this because of course the new movie that is set to be released soon will be wiping the slate clean and continuing on from Terminator Judgment Day. So what exactly is the T-3000? Well, the phase matter that forms the T-3000 chassis is said to be held together by a magnetic field which could be further manipulated into developing stabbing weapons and granting the individual regenerative and impersonation abilities equivalent to the series of Terminators with the mimetic poly alloy. Which of course was the debate when this particular model was introduced to the series, whether it was in fact more advanced or less advanced than the T-1000 series. The T-3000 can absorb incoming fire and explosive damage better than all previous series, and it can reconstitute quicker than even the T-1000 could. However, it does lack the ability the T-1000 had where it could take a part of itself off and use that as a form of tracking device. The T-3000 had a unique ability where it could essentially form itself into a mist, weakening its magnetic connections momentarily and reassembling elsewhere at frightening speeds. This gave it the awesome ability that it could in fact phase through solid objects, giving the T-3000 an enhanced hand-to-hand -hand combat and infiltration abilities compared to all other models. The T-3000 could also use its magnetic field to maneuver along metal surfaces, such as walking up a vertical surface. It is also capable of learning via touch, such as determining security codes while impaling the user of those codes, much like a T-1000 could. In addition, similarly to the T-1000, the T-3000 is immune to electrocution, as it is entirely formed by the nanites of its phase matter. In terms of its combat abilities, well, in full combat mode, a T-3000 displays supposedly superior physical strength to a T-800, being strong enough to fully lift a T-800 one-handed and throw it a significant distance without requiring momentum or leverage. The T-3000 is also incredibly fast, and as previously mentioned, it is able to phase through the attacks from any other Terminators, which we saw in the form of the T-800. The T-3000 was able to deliver incredibly rapid punches, and it also possessed an extreme level of invulnerability to physical attacks. This is, of course, due to its structure. This would make it invulnerable to bullets and explosions. However, it could be penetrated by something as powerful as another Terminator, but its cells immediately reassemble afterwards, and it regains its mobility in half the time, regardless of the injury. Now, as previously mentioned, the T-3000 is built by essentially turning a human into a Terminator. Due to this, it does retain a human base form, and it can temporarily break out into a more amorphous state, but given a strong magnetic bond, this ensures the robotic cells retain together. They always return to the shape of a human body, and the reason for this isn't 100% clear, but it is likely due to the phase matter. Underneath the skin, the cells remain in an accurate replication of the muscular system, albeit in a silvery color and with a form of particulate texture. The T-3000 has the ability to significantly enlarge its muscle mass when engaged in combat. 
As it was developed from a human, the natural abilities of the host are enhanced by the exposure to the nanomatter. And because it is basically a former human, the T-3000 does possess a complete and utter entire grasp of human emotion, and it is able to show convincingly emotional responses. Whether or not the unit can still actually feel them as though it were a human has not been revealed. And interestingly, the T-3000 retains all of its previous human memories prior to its transformation, making it potentially one of the best infiltration models there is due to the fact that it can blend seamlessly into its environment. In terms of its weaknesses, an overcurrent can temporarily disable but not destroy a T-3000. External magnetic sources such as an MRI scan or other strong magnetic devices that are able to disrupt a T-3000's own magnetic field that holds itself together. This of course removes its structure and puts it into a nanite form. However, even such measures merely disable it temporarily. However, the magnetic field from the time displacement equipment was shown to be capable of completely destroying the T-3000. This was only due to the fact the T-3000 lost its outer sheath, and as such, the time displacement field ripped apart anything that was inorganic. So guys, there you have it. That is my review and breakdown, I guess you could say, of the T-3000. To me, I didn't mind it, but I really didn't see what they were trying to achieve with the T-3000 because it just seems like a 90s version of the T-1000. What I mean by that is everything has to get bigger, badder, and more badass, but when you actually kind of broke it down and looked at it, it didn't seem to be all that better. In terms of the Terminator infiltration units and the enemies that they've thrown our way, I truly do believe that the T-1000 cannot be beat. It is one of the most impressive models that we've seen on screen. And due to the incredible performances that we've had, I think that it is potentially one of the most menacing as well. So guys, what did you think of the T-3000? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Please do let me know down below in the comment section. As you can probably tell, content is kind of all over the show at the moment. I am still going to be doing lore videos, but I am slowly kind of winding them down and throwing in other bits and pieces of content as well. I will say this though, guys. YouTube has been demonetizing my channel left, right, and center. So if you do like what I create here and kind of my efforts to entertain, whether it be, you know, rant videos, gameplay, whatever, please do consider becoming a patron as it goes a really, really long way to help me out. And interestingly enough, YouTube demonetizing videos has now resorted in them basically censoring the video altogether. I did a video yesterday on Agony Hates Women and no one could play it. It streamed terribly. In fact, it was buffering every couple of seconds. And this is a form of YouTube censoring the content, basically frustrating the viewer so much so that they don't watch it, which is incredibly, incredibly transparent when I can click on another video and it will play seamlessly. And yet my one doesn't. So it really does annoy me, but obviously, you know, I still want to keep producing this content for you all. So if you do like it, consider becoming a patron and you know ultimately if I get enough on patron I will you know turn ads off altogether because you know I, I can basically get enough from patron to support the channel itself but we'll see that's kind of long-term goals guys if you are new here please do hit that subscribe button as that goes a long way to help me out and also share this video and I will just kind of say you know quickly up top if you have any suggestions for future topics please do leave them down below I actually read pretty much 90 maybe 95 percent of comments it's quite difficult sometimes to read them all but I do read the majority and although I can't always reply um, and I do take suggestions massively on board so please do leave some suggestions down below as you know I take that into account and consideration for future topics guys if you didn't know I've done a face reveal I've actually been in I mean all, an awful lot of videos now uh, especially all of my movie reviews uh, so if you go and head over to my movie review playlist you can see what I look like but you can also get my thoughts up to date on things like Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom because that because that is out in the UK spoiler alert I didn't like it it was pretty bad uh, and just generally all other movies as well so please do go and check that out and I also have a vlog playlist which is pretty active kind of where you can see me work out and do some bits and pieces with my life and also my car which is a, uh, a Nissan 350Z which a lot of people seem to like so guys do go and check that out but guys I've rambled for too long I have been Mr H and I will catch you in the next video